Welcome to monthly news number 17. As always a bit quick, rough and unpolished. Maybe even more this time because it's the summer edition from Portugal. All right, so this month I spent a lot of time actually renovating this van. So it is an old German army van, which used to be an ambulance. Um, it was very bad condition when I bought it with a lot of rusty holes. So completely uh, re-renovated -re it and filled up all the holes, repainted it um, to turn it into a little camper, which also is going to be my house later if I'm going to move to Project Camp. I'm going to make a final uh, detailed video how the whole process went uh, later. Uh, if you already want to see something, I also posted a topic in our forums where you can see step by step how it went and how it's turned out to be with like the interior and stuff. Now, one of the main reasons I'm here is to visit Tamera which is uh, a community in the south of Portugal. And it's set up by German people uh, about 30 years ago, maybe 40, I'm not sure. Um, but they, uh, well, they basically built it all themselves. And about now 200 people from around the world live here. And I'm here to research like, how did that go? Or what does it take to do something like that? Because you really have to rethink everything from where do you get your food, your, your energy, can you cook on solar energy, uh, how do you get your water supply. Um, so on the one hand, the very you know, basic technical stuff, but also what's it like for people to live here? Do they, do they still like each other if you're together day and night? Uh, are people happy or, or negative? So I'm just going to talk with a lot of people and look around. And in the end, I'm going to make one proper video with some interviews and show you guys all the things that are going on here because it is a very impressive and beautiful place i must say it's kind of magical so i'll make a video about that you know wait, let me just show you already a few things uh, fruit trees around like here which is <laughs> very sour and not ripe yet still need to learn so they built their own lake. So this used to be dry soil, um, but they managed to make a watering system so the rainwater stays in. So now everything around it is super nice, fresh and green, just by keeping the water in the land. They have a greenhouse where they grow the little plants, like beetroot. Devices to cook on solar. This one is used to bake a bread. Works nice, tastes good. They have this big vegetable garden where they grow food, compostable toilets, no flushing, just a big hole. <laughs> that was just a very, very quick glimpse of all the stuff that's going on here. So I would highly recommend to watch the long video. Um, so I'm going to spend one more week here and then I'll meet uh, Matia, Katrina and Ben in Portugal as well to shape a pan for flesh plastic version 4. And uh, we have a whole list of things we want to do. So we're going to write them out, see what kind of people and help we need. And we're going to uh, start in September. So make sure to keep your agenda open. So now it's still kind of chill. So make sure you rest. But in September, it's going to be full on. So be prepared. Oh, and one special mention. Uh, Anse was her birthday this month. I do not know Anse. However, uh, she was asking for a birthday present uh, to her friends and family. And uh, she asked for money and she donated everything to Fresh Plastic. So we got 500 euro from her. So thank you very much. We will make sure to spend it wisely. Chocolate. Okay, so now <coughs> and we have one final clip from Matia who is in uh, Spain visiting Talas of Erika uh, who makes the sunglasses which look super nice. So here's the last clip and we'll see you next month. Hello everyone, I'm uh, today in uh, sunny Barcelona. And I came to visit the guys at Talera Sferica and uh, show you a bit what they're doing and their research into making uh, some pretty awesome plastic sunglasses. And uh, well, let me introduce you to them. Hello. Hello, Matteo. Hello, Matteo. How How's it going, guys? How's life? Life is nice now that we can make sunglasses. Nice. And what is this? Well, we have the machine here, that's the second machine we've built, and this is what is actually allowing us to have enough pressure to film that. To make what, again? To make these amazing sunglasses. 100% recycled, 100% recyclable. Fucking amazing. 
Oops, I shouldn't say fucking. Um, and uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, tell us a bit more about these sunglasses, how you guys came to, to make them, how long it took you to make those two molds, and then maybe you explain us about the molds. So, um, sunglasses have been a one year trick into getting something out of these machines that would make proper products. Uh, this was our objective, this was our goal. And uh, sandwiches are consumed by the thousands, so we thought that millions by the millions, yeah. <laughs> and this we thought we could um, it could have an impact. So that's why we started doing sunglasses. And Daniel will tell you about the molds. Yeah, these are the two molds that we need to come up with the sunglasses. This is for the frame. And this is for the leg. And these are fully custom made, right guys? You guys designed, yeah, developed it, produced it, uh, CNC milled it. Yes, we made the design of the sunglasses from scratch. We came up with the design of the molds. And finally, with the bases of precious plastic, we designed this second machine. It's an updated injection machine. Exactly. That provides it with shitloads of pressure to make the sunglasses, yes. right? Because it's very thin, the product. Yeah. The walls are very thin yeah. of the material. Yeah. Right? What was what was hard with the mold was to understand the difference between industrial injection molding and injection molding with manual machines. So that was some knowledge that we gained in there while doing this mold that was super interesting. Okay, and tell me about this detail of this crew that I particularly like and I think is uh, crucial in uh, designing sustainable products. Yes, so one of the things we wanted to achieve with the sunglasses were, was to have them made with one single material. So the screw that you see here is the exact same material as the temples and the frame. It has an hexagonal screw, uh, an hexagonal head, so that when you spin, it will always spin with the temple. Hence, it will never be able to stick out and lose it. Nice one. And uh, well, what's the next step for this project, guys? Next step is having many people coming in and making their own plastic, recycled plastic sunglasses and from then we'll see what products we design, what products we, we can produce and how many people actually understand the impacts of our products. Well guys, well done. We are absolutely proud of all your work. We follow very closely and well now I got lucky enough that I was able to come here and meet one and two and uh, yeah, thank you very much guys. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Ciao.